Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're in the mountains, I'm by myself and going on a little adventure. We're gonna be heading to an old neighborhood built in the 1850s for a mining community. We're starting in the mountains. The mines were once in these mountains, but they were dried up a while ago. The reason this place is abandoned is because the town actually bought all the properties here about 12 houses. They bought the property and they evicted all the tenants. The reason they did that is because it was a very big hazard to have a fire in that neighborhood. Only way you can get to the neighborhood is a little wooden bridge that was built 100 years ago and it could not take a weight of a fire truck if there was a fire in the area. Turns out there was a fire. Pretty big tragedy happened and everybody was kicked out. So now there's about 10 old houses, like I said, some dating back as far as 1850 that are left here. And we're gonna go check it out. Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods. I love taking the uh, unknown trail. And I got a little fork, but I'm gonna fast forward all this and I'll see you guys there. Got some old power lines here. And as you can see, we're nestled in the mountains. Beautiful, beautiful area. So, been walking the power lines here for a little bit, and it's just about time to hit the woods off the main trail, because I hear people coming. But we're gonna head this way. Hopefully there's no ticks, no bears, and no rattlesnakes, because those are the, those are the things that are very prevalent in the area, but this looks like a path. Probably animals take this, maybe. Definitely. But we, we just gotta head on this for about a mile, not get lost and we'll come across some old farmhouse ruins that I saw from Google Maps. But there is a brick or stone wall surrounding a bunch of water. What I think that was back in the day, you know, a long time ago, this might have been the ice chest out back. They'd come bring their produce and milk and berries, meat, bring it in here. And this was the old freezer, you know, before electricity. And we're at the house already. Hello? Anybody home? Just a hiker. Okay, so this is super unexpected. Looks like some sort of schoolhouse or church right there. I thought it was just a shed. And then over my right shoulder, we have the home that I just found. Got some chicken coops left behind definitely people that lived off the land out here or they could have kept lumber under here as well okay severely severely damaged okay based on the color of the walls and the missing ceiling and whatnot I'm gonna guess and say there was a probably a fire here I could see holes here everywhere not sure what's stable, but we're going to try to get in here. Whoa. Very soggy floors. The rainwater hasn't made it any better in here. Yeah, fire really destroyed this place. Always cool to find a random house in the woods. I wasn't even expecting to find this one, but I just came across it on Google Maps. So I always 
have to check out a house if I find one. You can see how old the house was though. You have this old briefcase out here. The interior, completely made of wood, but it was once a suitcase, traveling suitcase. But yeah, we're gonna walk away from this cute little cabin in the woods. Probably a once beautiful home nestled out here. Definitely giving me school, house, or like church vibes here. Probably Sunday school. Really old building. It makes me think it was probably a few hundred years old. Maybe old miners. Hello? Old miners use this place maybe. Not much in it now. It was probably converted. Probably was a huge open room and they added these walls here to make it a residential because it just looks so weird. Definitely was a schoolhouse of some sort. All right, that's gonna do it for a little pit stop here. Just these two houses that are on the way to the neighborhood. Pretty cool, little find. I wonder if the miners used that building as a church once upon a time. I know everything's overgrown now, but you can imagine a hundred years ago, I bet a lot of these trees weren't even here. It's pretty crazy you can make it out now. The road, the trail I was just walking down was once a road. We got stone on that side, stone on this side, and as you can see right here, it's a downed power cable. So the house that we just checked out was once accessible by a road here a long time ago, but I could start making out the houses. So we have finally arrived here at this abandoned neighborhood. As soon as I stepped on the road, there was a guy standing there, kind of in professional clothing, like tucked in shirt, uh, button up shirt. He was smoking a cigarette. And for me, I just never like being seen when I go to these places because it is lawfully illegal but morally i don't think it's illegal at all i don't think there's anything wrong with exploring history i think it's actually disrespectful to not let people come and access these areas and witness this history for themselves so i like to stay unknown but the guy i think saw me so i walked around the property and i'm in the back now got some old vehicle parts left behind here really spread out. I mean, there's so much junk back here. Look at all the tires. Whole pile of them just underneath uh, all that debris. Somebody was building a motorcycle. Or actually, this is an ATV. Yeah, this is an ATV and somebody had to ditch it. Kind of a really bad environmental hazard. So I do hope they kind of clean up this area. Severely overgrown. This house never even took down its Christmas lights. So at the start of the road, we have this house, which is pretty much entirely gulfed. And I did tell you in the intro, there was a tragedy that happened here. And the reason this place shut down is because of that old wooden bridge that was on this property that to access this road, you need to go over the creek, over that wooden bridge, and fire trucks would not be able to access it. And what actually happened here, right here, there was a house, huge house, and it actually ended up burning down and couldn't be saved. Nobody was saved. It basically was the nail in the coffin for this entire community. You could see, you could see the dates. You could see how dated these homes are, actually are. When you get close to them, really beautiful. Like I said, 1800s architecture, and they're all just gonna sit here until they'll all be demolished. It's pretty sad. I'm gonna head to the end of the street, just walk this main road, and then we'll walk inside some of these homes.
check this out, double trouble. Two identical homes, beautiful. One blue, one yellow. And these are entirely engulfed. I love the old look at these homes. It's just so sad to see them rotting in disrepair. Especially because a lot of these homes had people inside here that lived here for their whole lives. Many people in their 60s and their 70s, and they were all forced to leave. Really sad, you know, seeing news articles of people who had to pack all their stuff up, you know, at an old age and move somewhere else. It's just kind of unright. And this is the dead end here. So we do have a bunch of homes to look at today. Approximately 12. Not sure if we'll go inside every single one, but I definitely will show you guys what is worth seeing. And this looks like a little uh, Batmobile toy for a kid. Yeah, a little Tyke's Batmobile perhaps. So there's children in this neighborhood too at once. You gotta think how many people grew up and have memories on this street. And now it just looks like a post-apocalyptic movie. And I was totally wrong about that being the last house because it's so overgrown here, I barely saw that there's a handful of more homes engulfed. This one's so engulfed in vegetation. It makes me believe that some of these homes were vacated way before the town bought the land and forced everyone out. Because these are almost in inaccessible. Let's try going down the old driveway here. Even got old clothes drying outside, old school. People over here just lived off the land and enjoyed life, and it's really sad it had to get cut short early. I'm just completely walking through huge, overgrown stuff. Okay, just like that, we're inside. Uh, questionable floor, but you could see the age of this building here. Even got some old supplies left. Tomato soup. Would you guys eat this if it was a survival situation? It's expiration date. 2005. Wow. It's got some more canned stuff in here. Ooh, baby clams. Can't be good. Unknown mystery meat. I always like finding old cans of food in here. It just makes me feel like I'm living in a real survival situation yeah but this this uh house is a little messed up don't know what happened in the kitchen here wow it's really tight in here the ceilings are so low here we are in the living room Oh wow, the floor, it's really questionable. But if you could see, my head's like about to touch the floor, the ceiling, and the ceiling is the oldest wood I've probably ever seen inside an abandoned house. So I'm really not gonna spend too much time in here. There is an upstairs, but I mean, there's no floorboards, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but there is a decent amount of stuff left behind here. Still got a parrot chilling in this house. Got an old bowling bag. Bowling shoes still in it too. You can obviously tell an old person lived here. Oh my god, there's no floor at all. I have to leave. I'm sorry guys. This house is really cool, but I just can't risk it. There's no floor underneath that carpet at all. Was this a candle? Yep, it was a candle. French country vanilla. <coughs> okay. That doesn't taste smell like vanilla at all anymore can't walk in the living room but i'll check out this area wow there's so much left behind here i can't believe this place was abandoned in 2018 look at this place it looks like it's been abandoned for 50 years you'd think 
It's just no ceiling at all. What happened here? Destroyed this place is. Look at the piano. I think it's electric. This old TV here. Oh, we got some good VHS tapes left behind. Wow, check out this collection. We got Scary Movie. We got Planet of the Apes. What else? We got Tomb Raider. And we got some other decent movies here. Pitch Black, The Breed, not sure what that is. Nutty Professor, didn't even see that one. Classic, got an old entertainment system. I had, I think the exact same TV when I was a child. Mariah Carey. Easy Top Greatest Hits. I love this Three Stooges poster. I think it's a Three Stooges golf with your friends. Let me know if it is. I, I don't remember. I'm not old enough to have watched it when it aired, but I think it is. I think it's a cat toy, maybe. We got some more movies over here, a bunch. Got a good ones too. These guys watch good movies. Got The Mummy. Great movie, 90s movie. American Pie, that is a classic movie. They had all the classics here. Perfect Storm, Boys, Girls, Men of Honor. Dracula and Stephen King's It. Look at that. Wow, this is so cool. It's like an old blockbuster I'm walking through right now. Got some more VHS down here too. Let me know if you guys recognize any of your favorite movies. Okay, this has got to be the coolest one. Look at this. I forgot what these types of uh, effects are called, but this VHS tape has a uh, one of those animations. You tilt it and it changes. That's so cool. What is this? Uh, Lost World. That's Jurassic Park 2, I believe. Wow. Let's uh, see if it's good in, in good condition here. I don't think it's even going to come out. Yeah, there it goes. Pretty good condition. Oh no, it's not. You can see the tape there. It's just completely molded. That's a really big shame. That's so cool. Okay, now we're next to the front door. Or we weren't able to get over here because the floor was so bad. Not sure what's gonna be upstairs. I don't know how much I trust these stairs, but the ceiling looks good above here. Wow. Okay, we're only gonna be taking a look in these rooms from up here. Because the floor is just way too unstable to play with, but this is clearly one of the master bedrooms here. I see a you know bed on the, over there, TV. That's pretty much it though. I don't see anything else too interesting. Yeah, the floor above the staircase is pretty solid, so there's no water damage in the center here. Only a two-bedroom house here. You can see the bed sinking in the floor. Really not much in here. Downstairs is a little more interesting, but really cool beginning to this neighborhood if this is the first house here. Got some Vicks NyQuil left behind. Let's see what else is in their medicine cabinet. Oh, a bird nest. Oh, yeah, it looks like birds are living here now. Let's leave that alone. Maybe they'll come back. Incredible abandoned home here. First one we're entering in this neighborhood. If the rest are just like this, 
this video might be long, but I'm so up for it. It's a very amazing place to explore. Let's go see what else we can find. Let's go check out those other houses, shall we? I just noticed a pretty sad sight. I heard a little creak down here, and then I saw all these ditched refrigerators just in the creek. I mean, that is horrible. This refrigerator has probably been sitting here 50 years by the look at that rust, and we have another one over there. Really sad sight. I don't like seeing pollution of any sort. It doesn't really make sense. Being this is a very old community, I bet if you brought a metal detector out here, you'd probably find some really cool stuff. Just pulled up to the next house. We're going to be going inside. Sorry for the noise pollution. We're right next to a main interstate here. So there's trucks going by every few minutes. Nice old porch, old chair. Yeah, this one's empty. A really relaxing neighborhood, but one thing that's not relaxing is hearing the interstate 24 seven. I can't imagine that was fun, you know, all night. I mean, it turns into white noise at some point, but I mean, it's such a beautiful neighborhood. It has a little creek behind it. And I can barely even sit in this front porch and enjoy it because of all that noise. Got a boxing bag here. Pretty empty house. I do enjoy the layout of it and I enjoy the, the mirror right there. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. This is like the office or entertainment area, living room. What's on the floor? Oh, it's red shag carpet. Wow. And you can see the dirt, and that's probably a bunch of the ceiling that fell down. It's just covering that red shag carpet. I thought it was blood or something. Pretty basic kitchen. Definitely old, outdated, but I don't mind it. Wow. Okay. Children's room here. Stuffed animals, dolls, and Pete Davidson. <laughs> what? A moderated Q&A with Pete Davidson. Sunday, January 23rd. Doesn't have a year. Old Pete Davidson though. Wow, so random to see that. Look, you got some Tony Hawk games? Tony Hawk, Boom Boom, Sabotage? What even is this? Is this a movie? Shrek Super Slam on GameCube. Wow, these are old games here. Full closet filled with things. Teddy bear. Yeah, you can see the trim. I just noticed that for the first time. Definitely a child's room. All the clouds, too. Wow, so much left behind, but it's all torn up. Oh, you even have a Christmas stocking. Wow, I think it says Barry. I'm not quite sure though. Got a lot of stuff that I see from my childhood. 
Oh, wow. Look at the attic. All the houses here, you could see how quickly the roofs just deteriorate and become nothing. And everything in this, in this room is ruined. Just a bunch of toys, stuffed animals. I mean, that's really all I'm seeing in here is toys and stuffed animals. Got some more flattened shag carpet in here. Check this out. It's a retro uh, jacket. Wow, that's really retro. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's what I picture people saying. What? It's like a 90s jacket. That's cool. Dumbo. And we got an upper deck here. Wow, look at this. This is awesome. This is a cool little view here. Here, this is the uh, the house we exited prior. It's right next door over there. Look at all the, and they got the old games, Red Dead Revolver, never heard of that one. PlayStation 2, Civil War, Need for Speed, look at this. Uh, what are these, PSP games, Smackdown vs. Raw 2000, you got John Cena and Batista on the cover. And what else we got, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit 2 on Nintendo GameCube, super Super nostalgic. NBA, Street, these are classic games. If you're a 2000s kid, uh, you know everything that I'm showing you right now. Hulk Hogan, Legends of Wrestling 2, never heard of that. And we have Flat Out. Got some more games in here. Rockstar's Bully. They paid $29.99 for this new. Monumental when it came out. State of Emergency, SmackDown, another WWE game, Def Jam Vendetta, another wrestling game, and SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. This is the box, or the case for the game disc we just saw. What else we got? Pokemon VHS. The first movie! This is a Mewtwo! Wow, that's cool. There's no um, VHS in it though, it's pretty light. Cool stuff! Got an old clock here. There's so much stuff under all this stuff. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying this home. I'm just glad that that Hornet's nest is not inhabited by anybody right now, thankfully. And I noticed in the backyard, this is a absolute first. I've never seen an abandoned American flag left behind. And I was thinking on the way here that it would be so cool to find one. In the backyard, we have an abandoned American flag. Sadly, it's all torn up and everything, but it's a first for me. I'll show you guys. Let me go outside. Yep, first time in my life I found an abandoned American flag left behind. An old shed here, out back. I noticed this helmet. It's pretty cool, old racing helmet. And in the back here, we have a mirror, and on the mirror, we have New York City skyline prior 2001. So, got the Twin Towers up there. Pretty cool picture. It's cracked down in the middle. But other than that, ain't much in here. Back on the main road. Crazy to think that we've only been into two houses so far. But let's go check out some of the rest of these. I think a majority of them are going to be empty, but we're going to find out. Ooh, this is dark and spooky. This one's not pretty, you can see the drop ceiling. I don't think I'm even gonna head in this house just because it's so modern. It's ugly. Let's see if we can get into these. These have a lot of broken windows for some reason. The other ones don't. 
Wow, it's overgrown. I'll peek in the windows because I don't know if I can get in. Yeah, that's empty. It's not, there's nothing in there. Maybe that one has something. It's just so much brush. So they are demolishing all these homes soon. I saw tire marks of maintenance cars. And I'm kind of sad I can't visit this place maybe during the winter when there's a lot less overgrowth so I could access some of these homes. But we got a little path this way, so. Wow. The door is open, but the stairs are missing. Pretty basic homes. Oh, 2018. That's when everyone was evicted here. That's what all the calendars say. You could see some people brought a lot more than others. Do you have some more canned stuff here? These are all eaten though. I wonder if some homeless guy ravage the cabinets of all these homes. Check that out. Got a lot of dried blood there. Uh, maybe the guy who was opening the cans cut himself or something, but that's it's serious. It's not barbecue sauce, it's dried blood for sure. But we're gonna head out of this house because there's really nothing in it. Now we're back towards the front of the street, checking out these homes. Got a horseshoe above the door. Graffiti, shag carpet beneath us. Wow, these, this one's pretty torn up. Kitchen. Simple, small kitchen. Very old, you could tell by the sink. That's it though. Got like a fruit holder, banana holder. What? Ooh. Ah, that's a little spooky. Let me get my light, maybe we'll head down there. I'll test the stairs. Got an old porch out here. This is pretty relaxing, I'm not gonna lie. So you got a river I see right there. Probably not gonna see it on camera. There's a river that flows right there. A creek that's behind us. Surrounded by water and, and nature. This is a pretty ideal spot to live besides the interstate. Let's test these stairs. I think there might be some cool stuff down here. Oh, we got some like uh, rock band drums. That's definitely what that is. That's cool. Xbox too. Xbox 360 to be exact. Emergency lamp. Kids were definitely in here. All storage down here. What do we got here? Curious George. That's pretty much it. I don't see much else in here. Just a bunch of junk in here now. What we got in the closet? No. 
Ooh, it smells really bad in here. Looks like the closer we go to the front of the neighborhood, the more empty these homes are gonna be. Look at this, just a very minimal kitchen, just a sink, stone walls over there. Got a barbecue inside the house. Got some old toys out here, little tyke slide. Many kids were going down this neighborhood. Wow, look at this porch. That was the last house we just explored. Not much in it as you could remember, but out here we just have bags and bags of garbage, couches, other boxes of stuff. I mean, they really didn't take anything. They put it all outside and let it rot. You got beds over there. And it just doesn't make sense because the town evicted everybody here, but yet five years later, the homes are still here. So. These families could have still been living in their homes, and I'm sure if they saw the state of them today, they would have a mixture of emotions, I'm sure. Wow, right before I was about to leave, I nearly missed this. There's an entire boat left behind here. It's so hard to see from the road, just behind this house here. Check that out, old boat. Got a CD player out here. I think I had this exact same one back in the day, but it was blue. Let's throw it on the boat for some good tunage. Yeah, nice wood paneled boat, pretty good condition. I mean, looks wise, but obviously the engine's flooded and everything's destroyed. I mean, I just don't get how people abandon this stuff. Could have sold it at least. That's gonna do it everybody. We explored the entire neighborhood, uh, 13 or 12 homes I believe got into about at least half of them and a few of them are really good and I'm excited and happy to have explored this place. What a wasteland. I love exploring abandoned neighborhoods, just thinking about the memories, all the memories, hundreds of years of memories were made here and I'm walking through it now and there's no life whatsoever. It's just so parallel to what it used to be, but that's going to be it. We explored it all. It's going to get demolished one day and that's that, all this history will be demolished. And that's why I do these videos, record, document, because these buildings and places like this aren't gonna exist forever. And if they're not on the internet after a certain amount of time, they're just not gonna be around. So thank you for the support. Thank you for watching. If you got this far, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought. And that's gonna do it. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm really hungry. And I might be doing some camping videos in the future some of which inside or around abandoned locations. So leave a comment, let me know if you would like to see that. Some outdoor overnight camping at some certain locations. But that's gonna be it. Peace out guys, and I'll see you later.